Since my daughter Amelia was three years old, she has been the inspiration for my work and the subject of my photographs. I've been working for 12 years on this series, dedicated to documenting mine and Amelia's adventures among the animals. I am driven to depict relationships with animals, but the photographs are not documents. They are evidence of the invented worlds that we explore and the fables we enact together. The world that my daughter and I explore is one where the line between humans and animals overlaps, where animals are part of our world and humans are part of theirs. My name is Chris Boot. I'm the executive director of the Aperture Foundation. I'm here at the Aperture Gallery in New York where we're showing Richard Rinaldi's Touching Strangers. This was the subject of the last Kickstarter campaign we mounted and we're able to do it on a scale we did not imagine possible without your support. We're asking today for you to help us with another book project, Amelia and the Animals, Robin Schwartz's wonderful, touching, a uh, body of photographs that uh, speaks to, we think, a very big audience. Help us bring this book to the world in the best possible way. Thank you. When I spoke at National Geographic magazine, Elizabeth Christ found me on the web and um, she's a senior editor there and she changed my life. And from National Geographic, um, we got work in the New York Times magazine and online. So it was a multimedia thing. So that was a huge thing to be in the, in the Times. And um, every photograph, well, these, these, the top row will be in the book. Since I was only three, it's, it seemed sort of normal just to know monkeys and a lot of different animals. Until I got older, I realized that wasn't like something that most kids had the opportunity to do. It's my legacy to Amelia. Even though this project started out as an art project, it, it was my time to be with her. If I were um, a guy photographer, I would maybe be going off and leaving her at home. And by doing this project, I didn't have to leave her. When I photograph Amelia, there's, there's a bit of me photographing myself. I think this is probably my strongest um, picture. This is Amelia and, and Jacob up in the tower. We live in a firehouse and our bedroom is in a hose tower. This is Maddie and um, when I photographed Amelia with this gibbon, it changed, it changed Amelia. She decided to keep participating in this project because there was a point where I don't know whether she was really that interested anymore and where I really made a decision to find the animals that Amelia wanted to be photographed with. When I went to graduate school, Arthur Freed, he went around the table and he asked each person what they wanted. Like some people said, I want to be famous and you know, or something like really big and I said, I want to teach and make books. And so I've always wanted to make books because I think it's um, permanent and um, I like books. I think that they take you away. If there's a book, if the Kickstarter works, this is the cover. So. And I think Amelia, looking at the pictures of Amelia, um, for some of the animal people, they remember their kids little. And it gives them something, I think, of that remembrance and that connection. Taking her with me and doing this, I hope that she remembers it and tells her kids about it.